My name is Rosalind Shipp and I'm the Executive Director here. Uh, my name is Leah Toro. My name is Sasha Hanadiak. Hey, my name is uh, Brian Charlton. I'm Leslie Baird, the Mayor for the Village of Cumberland. In 2020, we started a revitalization project of the museum that looks at um, redeveloping our exhibition spaces, our building, uh, its mechanical systems, as well as ensuring that we have a proper collections, care, storage area. I'm the exhibitions assistant here at the museum. Every day we go looking for one thing in a box and come up with five different um, other artifacts that are equally as interesting or lead us in a, down a different path for the exhibits. So it's really nice uh, to be just surrounded by history that we're all interested in here. I am the curator and collections manager at the museum. Uh, right now I'm uh, very excited about uh, the mine and the land uh, exhibits. Um, so we have a replica mine in the museum um, and uh, we're working to um, pull out some human stories from those objects and kind of give visitors a sense of what it might have been like to work in the mine, um, make it relatable. That's the thing about this museum, right? That the, uh, the people that get involved in it, they get real passionate about it. And uh, that means that they put their heart and soul into it. And I think that shows and, and involves other people in the community absolutely amazed at the changes being made in the museum. It is long overdue. So we've been at the museum undergoing a reorg project and that is going through the entirety of the um, collection excluding the archives. So that's been unwrapping um, each and every one of our 8,000 museum objects, <laughs> looking at them and then categorizing them into we decided into 10 categories with uh, three special collections. So we have a mining special collection, Japanese Canadian history, and Chinese Canadian history. I feel the museum is very important to the community because of the change in the, the residents here in the village. They are not aware of the history that is in Cumberland and most people are actually very amazed of the important roles that we played in the development of British Columbia. But like I said, we have to reach all those new people that have moved to, because Cumberland's grown quite a bit, right? It used to be a pretty sleepy little place. And now, you know, with the, uh, I think it's probably grown by a couple of thousand people, almost doubled in the last 10 years. So, and all those people just don't have a clue, I think, sometimes of what goes on, what went on here in the past. With um, having organized things, we've been able to find more uh, and more histories that were, or narratives that were maybe hidden away before. Um, so I'm really proud that the museum, while we're maintaining previous um, local history with mining and industry and labor history, we're really delving into more diverse um, narratives that have happened throughout the community that maybe haven't been mentioned before or were hidden away. And now we're uncovering them and making the museum space more accessible and inclusive. We're also uh, working with the Comox First Nation right now on um, developing how to tell their stories, um, what stories they'd like to include and uh, how to tell them and also telling not only um, about their history but also contemporary stories of um, who the Comox Nation are and uh, yeah, their complex past as well and uh, what they're doing right now as far as uh, cultural revitalization. And unfortunately, if, if we didn't talk about our history as a union and the things that we fought for as a union, then those people thought it came from, a, it was either always there or it came from the boss, right, the employer. So it was important that we told that history of how we achieved those things, right? So that not only that they would appreciate it, it wasn't just handed to anybody, that people had to fought for it, yeah, we're completely uh, redeveloping the Cumberland Museum, so not only telling these um, historical stories of mining and labour history, but also um, telling more uh, diverse and contemporary stories, and we're really excited to uh, reopen to the public and uh, show everyone what we've been working on. We can't wait to see you.